With the summer now in full effect, it's only right that you match the heat with some heat, you feel me? Nonetheless, let's get into it. Here are the top 10 underrated sneakers that I think you should pick up for this summer. And don't worry, they're all reasonably priced. By the way, my name is Alex. I like sports, fashion, and just a little bit of everything. Nice to meet you. Actually, right hand's more proper. And coming in at number 10, sitting around 150, we have the AJKO Union Jordan 1 Lowe's. These shoes need more love. The first of its kind, Plus it's a nice silhouette. I personally think these are even cooler than the Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. I know they're way more durable, that's for sure. I personally have a pair and I am in love. And on top of all that, you can get really creative with that Velcro stitch on Nike patch. Stop playing. They're cheap, clean, durable, easy to get, and the colorways are only reeling in. Easy cup, especially if you need some nice beaters. Speaking of Jordan 1 lows, we have the Tokyos. For only 150, these are insane. I actually don't know why people aren't buying these left and right. They literally give off straight fragment Travis Scott vibes. An aged look on top of a very nice colorway on a very well-respected silhouette. I just don't understand, but it's okay because Easy cop, easy cop. With the balance of a neutral tone and a pastel color on the brighter end, these will be great for the summer. Everyone is clearly on the Adidas Sambas wave right now. However, I think they're low key forgetting how nice the Adidas campuses are. And they're around a hundred bucks. I mean, come on. If there's a shoe that screams summer on this list, it's definitely these. They give you a whole lot of color and a whole lot of youth. I mean, it is a shoe that Bad Bunny decided to get creative with. Nonetheless, super playful, but still mature. So clearly versatility isn't a problem. The sky is the limit for these. And if you're not into bulky silhouettes, they have a slimmer version too. Just check out the Adidas Campus 80s. Same DNA, but they're just like the smaller sister. Of course, I had to add Nike Dunks. They're not going anywhere just yet, but I want you guys to look into these two specific colorways. For around $180, the Sand Drift Dunks go crazy. Neutral colors with the tan and khaki, oof you'll be pulling off fits left and right. Now to match that exact same vibe, you also got to check out the industrial blue sashikos, which are even cheaper sitting around 135. I saw these on TikTok and God damn. Clearly the sand drifts are like your khaki pants. So it was only right I had to hit you with the blue jeans too. Nonetheless, two shoes that'll definitely get you compliments all summer left and right. Sitting around retail, we have the Jordan 1 high wash blacks. I know Jordan 1s are quote unquote dead but I don't think they're gone just yet like clearly the hype isn't too crazy anymore but number one you shouldn't be wearing shoes for hype anyways and number two the shoe is just too classic like I think they'll always stick around I personally think that everyone should have at least one pair of ones in their sneaker collection with that being said these recently just dropped and they are fire I'm actually shocked that they didn't go crazy but I'm also very glad too. It's a very versatile colorway. I mean, the amount of fits. They're basically just like a washed high top version of Panda Dunks. Like you can't go wrong with these. For those who are tired of the Nikes and the Adidas, and want to switch things up a little bit. We have something that isn't too sneaker and a little more shoe, Young Dad Swag, Straight GRs, Shelf Grabs for around 130, the Asics Gel NYCs. New balances are kind of expensive, so here's something else to help you get out of your comfort zone. Solid and comfortable silhouette, something to help you look a little more mature while living your summer up, whether it's running errands, actual running, or straight chilling. I don't know why so many people hate on Asics, but you could definitely catch me in these. And now for the honorable mention. It's only right that I had to throw a clogger slide in here. For nothing over 80, we have the Echo Crocs. I mean, what is summer without something easy to throw on, something to let the dogs breathe, and something to wear while you're just smacking at the pool or the beach. I personally have these and they break necks. They look very similar to the Salehi Bimberry Crocs and they have a very easy feel to them too, especially with some of their marbled colorways. And they got slide versions too, stop playing. And then to top it all off, they're both very easy to get. Well, those are all of my favorite affordable shoes out right now. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and what y'all would personally be rocking this summer. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and all that happy shit. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm, mm, ooh, 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 yes. That's three.